So you can all see that those are simply torn black pieces, sh sheets of paper, uh, more or less randomly torn sheets of paper. And yet it's not simply an act of generosity on your part to say, oh, well, in fact, we can see they're torn paper, but we can pretend that they are also a horse. There's something in us when confronted by those shapes that cannot stop us seeing it as a horse. It's an involuntary part of what it is to be alive with your eyes open, that as things appear, there's a need to push them into sense, to get them to cohere. And, and by the same token, once we've seen that as a horse, we desperately hang onto those fragments as an image of a horse so that even as they start to disintegrate and get less and less, we still keep ourselves seeing the horse. And this is obviously something we do with understanding also, with the way we complete people's sentences for them. If they're half completed enough, we actually physically say them, or if they're talking, we sometimes simply, in our head, run ahead and predict what they're going to say to make sense of it. So the, our way of being in the world is very much about kind of predicting what's going to be taking tiny fragments and putting them, putting them together. So even when the horse gets reduced to a, a single kind of line, we hang on to that hobby horse as kind of a hand to a saving banister. And this capacity to recognize and see meanings in and construct meanings is one of the themes I'll be going through during the course of the, of the talk.